In this video, we'll compare the two disorders, chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Both of them are chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases and they coexist together. Features of emphysema are in red color and the features of the chronic bronchitis are in blue color. In emphysema, there is abnormal permanent dilatation and destruction of the alveoli characterized by destruction of gas exchange air spaces that is respiratory bronchiole, alveolar ducts and alveoli. Whereas in chronic bronchitis, cough, purulent disputum, fibrosis and stricture causing obstruction to the air. Pathology of emphysema and bronchitis. In emphysema, macrophage production of elastase destroys elastin that decreases elasticity and increases the compliance and loss of elastic recoil leads to air space enlargement. In chronic bronchitis, hyperplasia, hypertrophy and metaplasia of mucus secreting goblet cell, smooth muscle hypertrophy and hyperactivity and increased collagen activity causes fibrosis and stricture. Severity is related to the number of packs smoked per day and the duration of smoking. So fibrosis and dilatation. In emphysema, increased elastase activity leads to air space enlargement and destruction of alveoli. Whereas in chronic bronchitis, inflammation and collagen activity leads to fibrosis and stricture. In emphysema, destruction of extracellular elastic tissue causes loss of radial traction and alveolar attachment leading to collapse with obstruction and destruction of lung parenchyma subsequently cell encoding leads to apoptosis. There is no fibrosis in emphysema. In chronic bronchitis, inflammation causes smooth muscle hypertrophy and hyperactivity. Major site of increased resistance is inflammation of terminal bronchioles, especially of a smaller bronchi of less than 2 mm in diameter. Squamous metaplasia may lead to carcinoma in chronic bronchitis. Where does the airflow obstruction occur in emphysema and bronchitis? In emphysema, airflow obstruction occur distal to the terminal bronchioles in the respiratory bronchioles, alveolar duct and alveoli. Whereas in chronic bronchitis, the obstruction occur at the terminal bronchioles, especially of a smaller bronchi of less than 2 mm due to mucus inflammation and smooth muscle constriction and fibrosis. Now cough and dyspnea. In emphysema, dyspnea is more than a cough. Cough is minimal and there is early severe constant dyspnea in emphysema. Whereas in bronchitis, there is late intermittent dyspnea, but cough is more than dyspnea in bronchitis. And a cough is early and copious sputum, whereas in emphysema there is late scanty sputum. Cyanosis. There is no cyanosis in emphysema at rest. They are called pink puffers, whereas in chronic bronchitis, cyanosis occurs at rest and these people are called blue blotters. In emphysema, there is pursed lip breathing and tripod position. Destruction of elastic tissue causes collapse of the airway and expiration. So patient learns to expire slowly with pursed lip. Whereas in chronic bronchitis, there is no tripod position or pursed lip breathing. Weight. Emphysema patients are underweight, whereas chronic bronchitis patients are obese. The chest shape. Chest shape in emphysema is barrel shape, whereas in chronic bronchitis is not barrel shape. Respiration. Emphysema patients use accessory muscles of respiration, number one. And number two, they have a paradoxical inward movement of the rib cage in inspiration that is known as Hoover sign. Whereas in chronic bronchitis, there is no use of accessory muscles of respiration and Hoover sign is negative. In emphysema, there is hyperventilation and tachypnea to maintain the oxygen. In chronic bronchitis, ventilation is okay and it cannot increase the respiration to maintain the oxygen. The percussion note. In emphysema, it's hyper resonant and there is decreased cardiac dullness whereas percussion note in the chronic bronchitis is dull and there is increased cardiac dullness auscultation in emphysema decreased breath sounds and expiratory wheeze in chronic bronchitis decreased breath sound with expiratory wheeze and sibilant ronchi abg in emphysema arterial oxygen is normal and there is adequate oxygenation and the carbon dioxide is normal to decrease in emphysema so there is respiratory alkalosis in chronic bronchitis there is a decrease in arterial oxygen and hypoxemia and carbon dioxide is increased and hypercapnia so leading to respiratory 
respiratory acidosis. pH. pH in emphysema is increased, so called respiratory alkalosis, whereas pH in chronic bronchitis is decreased due to respiratory acidosis. Diffusing capacity is decreased in emphysema and normal in bronchitis. Elastic recoil is decreased in emphysema and normal in bronchitis. X-ray chest emphysema, hyperinflammation, paucity of parenchymal markings, hyperlucency and flattening of the diaphragm. X-ray in chronic bronchitis shows hyperextension but not that marked as in emphysema. There is increased and irregular bronchovesicular markings and irregular borders or peribronchial thickening because of chronic inflammation. Heart in emphysema is small vertically oriented heart. In bronchitis cardiomegaly and horizontally oriented heart right ventricular hypertrophy is present. Cardiopulmonary involvement. Rupture of emphysematous bullae in emphysema leads to pneumothorax and lung collapse gives a jet black appearance in chronic bronchitis there is peripheral edema which is common and pulmonary hypertension causes core pulmonary right ventricular hypertrophy and right ventricular failure